everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm on Poshmark Canada, Rainbow Poops, and on Instagram, Rainbows After Midnight. So today is going to be a wet sold video. So this is going to be um, Poshmark, and then I'm going to do eBay as well. This is going from November the 1st till November 7th, 2020. So we're going to start off with Poshmark sales. So number one was this Lulu uh, Lemon Sweater Jacket and this sold for $47. Next up is this Forever 21 t-shirt. It's just It just says like, I like boys that are in bands kind of thing. Um, this sold for $15. Next are these, I had these shoes for a while. They're by Wishbone. They're a floral, just a flat kind of running shoe sneaker, really good condition. And those sold for $32. Next item, was a new at Tags. It's from Le Chateau. It's a Beatles, the Beatles scarf. It was really cool. It has all the all the guys on there. It's got, um, I think it's got the wife. What's her name? Yoko. All on there. It's really cool. Um, that actually I got from the bins a while ago. I saw it last minute, but a couple months ago I picked that up, and that sold for eighteen dollars. And the next item was uh, Lululemon. Uh, this is something that I picked up at Plato's Closet. Um, did make a huge profit on it, but I did make a profit on that. And that one sold for $50. Next item was a Saks Fifth Avenue. So this I've had for a very long time. Uh, it's a cashmere sweater and that one sold for 25. Next up is a Harley Davidson Thermal. This is actually something I thought would have sold faster, but it didn't. Um, this was also from the bins, so that cost me $20. So anything that I say is from the bins, especially clothes, meaning I probably spent about $2 roughly on that item. Next up was a bundle. So this had two vintage items in there. It had a vintage Olsen sweater. Um, it's got like a horse racing on there and it had some Angoria fur. I've actually had that for quite a while, which I'm surprised it was still around. And also this black sweater, it's got a lot of bead detail and it looks like it's like multiple like necklace kind of thing is really neat. So those two sweaters sold for 55 in the bundle. The next up is a, a cow knit sweater. It's really cool. I've actually sold another sweater similar to this, but it was pandas. So this one now was a cow one and the sweater sold for $30. Uh, the next item, I also got this at the Goodwill bin, so again, it didn't cost me much. Forever 21 faux fur vest. I've actually had this again for quite a bit. I think it's the size, it's an extra small, so that's probably why it kind of sat around for a bit. And that sold for $16. Next was a bundle. So this was a mug that I picked up a while ago. I thought it was really cool. It's a hairdresser mug and a pair of kids hunter boots and that lot sold for $35. Next item is a Calvin Klein sweater. I think I've had that for probably maybe a year. I've had that for a very long time and that finally sold for $14. Next was this Urban Outfitter sweater. It's white. It's kind of got like a metallic rainbow neckline. It's really cool. That one sold for $30. Next was a dress. So this was a Betsy Johnson a velvet dress and it had a bow, but the bow was a little detached. It just needed to be restitched, but that did sell and that sold for $35. Next is a pair of these tall fry boots. I picked these up a while ago at Style Encore and they had a 90, or I think it was, I don't know if it was a 90% off at the time or 80% off. I got these back, I think in the spring or the, yeah, I think they were in the spring, possibly the summer. I'm not really sure um, if it was when they reopened or not. But I did buy those. I think I paid 15 for them. I got them at a really good price. So definitely be on the lookout for um, different deals in different stores because you can find good things. And those sold for $65. Uh, the next is this Lafayette one. I think that's Lafayette. 148 leather jacket. It's really neat. It's a two-tone kind of brown color and that sold for 45. Next was this vintage floral what blouse, I guess it's like a like a 70s. It kind of reminds me of something like like a long time ago. 
is really neat. I got that one at a, a small little thrift store. I actually got quite a few that day and that one sold for $23. Next, uh, a Christmas sweater with a polar bear on it. It's kind of furry. That one was from the Goodwill bins and that sold for $18. Another Goodwill bin item was this vintage wool hat and it had a belt buckle or I guess a wooden buckle, not a belt buckle. It had a wooden buckle. It was neat. And that one went for $16. Another bins. These two I actually picked up the Goodwill bins together and I put them uh, both separate. I was going to put them together in a lot, but the girl actually did bundle them together. So the two uh, sequins, so there was a Justice skirt and then there was a Joe Fresh New It Takes. So they were both girl skirts. And those sold for $18 for the pair. Next was a Roots Weds red sweater hoodie something that I owned it was actually in my own closet I never wear it so I decided to sell it and sold that for $24 next item was a Vince wool striped sweater I actually thought this would have sold a long time ago really great quality finally sold for 35 and then we have this giant bundle so in this bundle was a Dooney and Burke purse um, I remember picking that purse up I think I paid two dollars for that purse and I was gonna keep it because it was something I used like I used to want it when I was younger I thought it was the coolest purse but I decided you know I'm not gonna use it just don't don't bother um, also these Rocco P shoes they're in excellent condition they're made in Italy uh, this Vivian Tam sweater something I've had for a long time so I was glad to sell that I actually think that came from my Orlando trip which was last year I think that's where I picked that sweater up also in that bundle was this loft sleeveless blouse um, this mex cardigan sweater which could have been from the bins I'm not too sure and then we have two sandals so we had a Birkenstock and it's also Birkenstock but it's the, like the under brand and those are both from the bins so keep selling and posting your sandals and your summer stuff I mean yesterday I just sold a pair of bathing bathing swim shorts so things can sell so we have two more things so next up was Stuart Weiserman shoes these I've sold so many of his shoes Stuart Weisman is one of my favorite brands to sell I love his shoes um, they usually just fly off the shelves but it depends on the style these were actually a bigger size and they're in perfect condition those sold for $40 and then the last item was a vintage cardinal cardigan and that sold for 20 so in the week I sold 25 items on Poshmark and that totaled after posh fees and any like offers to like or discounts before so this is before cost of goods before cost of goods that cost uh, the, what I made income was six hundred and twenty three dollars and eighty three cents so again cost of goods is not factored in there that amount obviously will be quite lower but for a week it's pretty sweet all right next up is eBay something that I've been talking about if you follow me even on Instagram I've been mentioning about how my eBay sales have just shot up like crazy and during that week I have sold seven items um, two of the items in my list are actually retail arbitrage, which is something that I was not really interested in, and I've tried it in the past and didn't like it, but I started to try it again on certain things because I've done more research, and I did sell two items from there. So let's get to the eBay. So the first item I sold on eBay was this H&M Kangle. It's a puffer coat. It's very long. Um, this is sold out everywhere so I guess the whole story about this when I researched it is the brand was only selling in Canada and in the UK and actually this did sell in Canada but this sold for $165 I think I paid for the coat $70 I think there were $69.99 when I bought them and I did buy two I bought a small and I bought I think an extra extra large so I still have the one but I also have a video on this and that will be eventually posted up but yes I did sell that for $175 uh, the next thing that sold on eBay was this anthropology plate for $58 now going back into my one of my first videos 
I did a Goodwill haul and I picked up floor anthropology plates for a dollar a piece because there's no tax. And that's the third one now I have sold. And they've all sold around $50 to $70 a plate. So if you see anthropology plates, um, these ones were the Nathalie ones. Um, they got the big, you'll see in the picture there what it looks like. That one has, I think the dog is the one that sold there. Pick those ones up. Um, the next thing that sold was from Retail Arbitrage. This was an H&M, The Vampire's Wife. I actually just watched a video before I actually went to the store and picked up um, the dress. The only downfall is I'm assuming because of COVID issues, they only got the one dress in the stores. And I went to multiple H&Ms and they only had the one dress. So I picked up the one dress and I picked up a few of them. And this sold for $85. I think this was selling an H&M for $40. So definitely made a profit there. I do have other ones, so I'm hoping they are going to sell. I guess we'll kind of wait and see. Um, next up on eBay, I sold this St. John skirt. I picked this up very, very recently for I think six or seven dollars, and that sold for forty dollars. Um, next was some Lululemon leggings. I had no information about them, couldn't find anything on them. They sold for fifty dollars. Uh, next was this Sarah Pashini top. I uh, haven't had it that long, but long enough. I put it on eBay, I had an offer on there, so it sold for $41. And then the last thing on eBay, which I picked up, I think I have a video about this, was this Diane Von Fustringberg, Fust Fust or you know what I'm talking about. Um, I sold the leopard blouse on there. I remember picking this up because I wasn't sure if it was real because the tag was different from the other ones. And I guess it's a newer shirt. It was featured on some TV show. I paid $7 at the time and that blouse sold for 70. That one actually is heading off to Europe. It's going to uh, Switzerland. So that's going out there. Someone's got the base going. Anyways. So yeah, those are my sales for the first week of November and hopefully the rest of the month goes well for everybody. And yeah, let me know how you guys are doing. How's your sales? I know Christmas is coming up. So I mean, it could be good, could be bad. Depends where you are. I do know at the time of this recording, there is um, a shutdown going down in the province next over to me in Manitoba. So unfortunately, a lot of their stores are closing down and I'm not sure when they're reopening, which is really rough right before Christmas, but they are shutting down and it's very unfortunate. So if you're out there Winnipeg people, I wish you guys luck. And yeah, if you guys could subscribe, all of you guys could subscribe to my channel and like this video, that would be awesome. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you later. Bye.